All right, so today my buddy Guthrie just got his Christian guitar Grand Slam box, and we're gonna do the unboxing to see what the five disc looks like that he gets. So we're gonna see how they fly both for someone about MA2 and someone in MPO. I'll start at the top here, Claire, huh? <laughs> Dang. This is the pure, huh? All right. Pro? Cine Pro. That's an orbital ice, right? Yeah. Orbit ice, maybe? Ooh. Oh. Dang. This one is the Grace. The Crystal wow. guitar. Wow, check that out. Here we go. Fourth one. Good. It's the Rive. That one's stable. These things. <laughs> All right, final one. Last Fifth and one. final one. Explore. Oh, look at that. The, what a box setup. Yep. All right, so it looks like Guthrie got this nice Pure Saint Pro Explorer. This dirty looking Grace. <laughs> and then this just beautiful Rive. We're gonna see how it flies on both his backhand forehand and I'll throw some in there just to see how they handle a bit more torque. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk about it as we go. I may be on the lower tier of the MPO level, but we're gonna see how they fly just in case uh, anyone wants to know. We're gonna throw these, try to get these about 340. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you got the whole thing that too. Was the full you got 360 the 360 actually. Wow. That was a nice flip up. Okay. I get why people like these graces now. I mean the pures. I get why people like these pures now. This one seems more stable, so we're gonna give it try to give it the same height. Oh look at that. It holds the height of the whole way. Wow. wow. Just All as far. Right. Still went 350. But you see it held the highs of the whole time and didn't really have much left to right drift. So even with a lot of torque, whatever kind of pure that is, can handle a lot more. Alright, here we go with the pure one more time. Ooh, look at it hold that. Wow. What we're going to assume is an Orbit Ice St. Pro Guthrie? St. Pro. Alright. Dean's here to evaluate my form. <laughs> they go out the gate? Well, the grass is dead, so that probably gave it an extra 30 feet of slide that it normally wouldn't, but it's a nice low tunnel shot disc. Probably didn't hyzer it enough. All right, max distance, St. Pro. Now we're gonna do this explorer, maybe a slight bit more high. Not enough hyzer. It's clearly not as overstable. It may fly more like a, uh, a gold explorer. I've done it in another video, I'll link up here. But it still made it the 415. It just drifted the entire way right. All right, explorer. All right, here we go. Distance, nice and low, you got it. Oh, look at that. All right. That is a nice, reliable headwind disc. I don't know anybody that runs more than this guy right here. I didn't throw it on purpose and it just took off. Yeah. <laughs> 472. Yeah, 452 to the fence. Now we're 450 from the fence back there. So we're gonna go with this beautiful grace. Guthrie said I can only throw it once. I'm not allowed to touch it again. So it's clearly as understable as probably the stock grace that in the video I linked, maybe even a little less stable than those ones from what that felt like. It's more domey. So now we got the uh, Grace. Look at that Grace. Beautiful thing. You see my reflection. Sheesh. Now, we're going to do this beefy baby.
Sennheiser, no turn. Sorry about that. This one, this one might be, no, a dirty shame. No doubt. And she's in print. We have the ride. Man, this thing's beautiful too. All right, keep it low and flat. You got that one. Whoa, super stable. Is that what that's supposed to be like? So that should conclude uh, our small review of Guthrie's Grand Slam box with this new, what looks like Glow Pure, this Saint Pro, so the Explorer for him, the Grace. We'll probably be when there's even more wind, or just when he wants maybe, just because yeah. it looks so good. And honestly, I have no idea what he or even I would use this for, <laughs> unless you're Calvin Heimberg. I don't know. This thing is more stable than my Horizon Cloudbreakers. Thanks for letting me see that.